Basel, through Basel on the way to Germany by tram. Don't have a ticket, but just uh, cruising by, getting to the border. Several trams, this one's not crossing the border, but stops in Klein Wieningen. So we need to wait like 10 minutes for the one that crosses the border. I don't know if there's a check, passport check or whatever. So just, uh, I don't know. We'll see how to cross. Probably on foot is possible, but it's a pretty long walk still. Oh, look at how beautiful this, this floor is to the uh, front. Nine minutes still to the uh, border crossing. Don't know how to get there, we'll see. Probably just wait. Okay, so we're now here. Klein Hüniger Anlage. And now we need to cross to Weil am Rhein, Grenze, and to the town, and there's a Greek restaurant. And then I'm gonna walk in the evening back to France, which is here. And then take a train to uh, from Saint Louis to Mulhouse. So we'll see how that's gonna turn out. It's that way. We go across the border to Germany. Like I don't have tickets, just trust as well go well. Let's see where we end up. No check, really. Just whizzing by, see? Now we're in Germany. Here's the old border uh, checkpoints, I guess. So that's how you switch a country in, uh, you know, the Schengen area and the EU. There's just a tram network that whizzes by. Pretty cool. It's Germany. Yeah, it's nice. Well, it would have been too far to walk. And there's the point of the cars. Where there is a check, I believe. But at least you need to put your passport by the window and then you drive through. So now we'll be in the town center here. There's a train station as well. And this is the Friedensbrücke, the Peace Bridge. Which is a beautiful name for Switzerland. Germany, France, countries that share so much common but also so much different history. Truck stop there. If you know Germany and France have been at war, which we can't imagine ever happening again. Switzerland was always neutral, so. Yeah, here we are. 
just find the uh, Greek restaurant in the town center. Like obviously it is considerably less wealthy than Switzerland directly after crossing the border. Center it straight ahead. I'll try the Greek restaurant Delphi, which is right here. Like Dutch people are very cheap and they often cross the border to Germany for dinner and that's exactly what I'm doing now but you can't blame me for the Swiss prices let's see what that's like here yeah that is a difference definitely a difference so let's go enjoy this good morning I would like a dish for one person. I would like a dish for one person. So these are quite uh, normal prices. And you can only pay by card starting from 25 euros. So I might as well get to that. I don't think that will be too hard. Uh, that's how Germany is pretty old fashioned with um, card payments. Cheers. Prost. From the Greek restaurant. It's been baked with cheese in the oven, and with rice and tzatziki. And the beer, this is gonna be delicious. That was pretty good. I ate for uh, 26 euros, which is certainly half of what I would spend in uh, Switzerland. It is freezing cold right now. I don't know why. But uh, kind of fresh, fresh. I'm trying to get to France before it gets dark, so I'll take the tram again, walk across the bridge to France, and then see how we'll get back to the station of Saint Louis. If you're actually following this adventure and you're not yet bored to death, perhaps you should look at a map of where Be Basel is situated and uh, Saint Louis, and you'll basically see where I am. Just the first town in Germany. I even forget the name, what it's called, but uh, whatever. I'm very cold, I'm sorry. Uh, Weil am Rhein. Weil am Rhein is what it's called. I'm not even going to the center because I know what is it, 10 degrees, 8. It's, uh, fortunately, my dad and brother are coming tomorrow and they're bringing a better coat. As it is uh, quite fresh here so seven minutes for the tram to come back to either France Switzerland we'll see I'm just uh, gonna take the tram gonna see what happens there it comes on the way back to Switzerland and then we'll cross into France I guess Back in Switzerland, that's how fast it goes from country to country. I'm thinking of even taking a tram to the uh, French part as well. Yeah. 